Now, obviously, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, they all built their billion dollar empire on the ability to code. And you may have seen these videos float around on the internet saying why you should learn how to code and how coding can be a superpower. And while coding is useful, I'm not sure if everyone should learn to code. So here is my honest opinion on coding and whether you should learn how to code and what are some reasons that you should not and what, are, what is the one real reason that you should. So one reason why you should not learn how to code is that you think you can build an app which will grow like Facebook or Instagram and then you'll be all rich and famous and life will be great. Um, while that is absolutely true that it is possible that you can code an app with learning how to code by definition and it is also true that it can grow. In reality, when you learn how to code, the distance from that to having a deployable app is quite significant. You will have to devote your life to it or at least your part-time life to it. So I have been coding for decades now. It, it's, some of, it's one of those skills that I've picked up as a child and still continue to use it in my life. And yet even now I cannot just sit down and build an app in a day or something. It will take me a fair amount of time because an app does require a lot of thinking and designing and a lot of it is not even code. It's, it's not realistic to think that you, you can just build an app overnight and if you have an idea let's just build an app. Uh, you, you're probably better off um, uh, not learning how to code and delegating it to someone who does know how to code rather than learning everything by yourself. Now having said that of course there are stories where people take all time off and they learn how to code and so on and then they build their dream app and that's great but that actually supports my point which is it takes months at least if not years to build an app and so if your intention to code is to build an app uh, which will scale and grow and all of that then you will only probably be able to do it devoting a significant amount of time to it after you become a fairly um, proficient user of code. So the distance from knowing how to code well to building an app is significant and the distance from knowing not to code at all to building an app is even more. Now another reason that's given out a lot in learning how to code is data analysis and that you can analyze data. Now again, that is absolutely great in principle and it is much shorter than building an app. So learning some basic uh, ideas of data analysis and then analyzing data and so on, yeah, it's, it's certainly possible to do it. But in reality, my experience with that has been, where does the data come from? Like, what are you gonna analyze? Are you gonna analyze open source databases? And sure, that, that can be useful, that can be insightful, but uh, very few people think of like, date, like they want to analyze data and then take the jump to analyzing mental health data or something like that. So while it is true that uh, data analysis can be useful, uh, again, there is that distance from you to this data that you want to analyze. And unless again, you are in a company and you can't hire someone to code, it's probably gonna be easier to just delegate it to someone. Now, of course, the one good reason to code is if you want to become a professional in code. And I'm not gonna elaborate uh, that anymore. It's by definition, if you want a job which involves coding, then you need to know how to code. Ta -ta -da. But here's the real reason why I think you should learn to code and consider learning how to code. And this reason is not talked about a lot. In fact, that's the whole reason I make this video, uh, which is, Coding can actually help clarify your thinking. It's actually a thinking tool. Now you may have heard of people using writing as a thinking tool. You may have heard people say that you should write and publish your blog post or article or YouTube video. And that is not just useful for the reader, but it's also useful for you because it helps articulate and clarify your thoughts. Now code can do a similar thing. It, while it's not about thoughts here, it's not about spreading ideas, it is about clarifying the, the thinking machine you have, which is, well, your mind, I suppose. But when you learn how to code, what you're fundamentally learning is logic. You may have heard of these things that, you know, if you want to, uh, if you want to be an expert at something, then you should be able to teach it to someone who is 
one, two, three, four, like kids, but more, probably not one. And coding works in a similar way, except you're working with someone who's really, really dumb, which is a computer. Now, of course, with smartphones and everything, you are like, what? Why, why is that dumb? And sure, they're smart in some ways, and especially with artificial intelligence, they're really getting smart. But fundamentally, a computer is a processing unit. It's a computational unit by definition, by its name. And so what it does very well is computation when it's given the right instructions, when it's given precise instructions. And so all of coding is actually developing a lot of precision. You have to develop so much precision that even a computer, even an inanimate object would understand what you're trying to say. So for example, the number of four for a computer is different from the string four or the character four. Now, as humans, we are intuitively like, of course, those are the same. But for a computer, they are actually or can be actually different. The reason why I say can be is some languages will detect that uh, and depends on which language you use and so on. But again, very fundamentally, those are two different things for a computer. Underneath the hood, it is still comparing two different things and then saying, hey, it's probably the same. And this is about one particular instruction. Now, imagine you have to chain instructions like this. So really dumb down and make precise instructions and then chain hundreds of such instructions. You become very good at thinking through problems. When you have a problem in mind, you become very good at breaking those problems down and then developing clear and compact solutions, more efficient solutions to those problems. As someone who is a teacher, I get this all the time that I have to boil things down. And having the ability to code definitely helps with this idea of like making things more precise, which you can explain to people. So I think that is the true reason if you're considering to learning how to code. Code's ability to help you clarify your thinking and develop your thinking apparatus better is one of the most powerful abilities of code, which is not talked about as much. Now, the same can be achieved with doing mathematics, which is also logic, a representation of logic, uh, or doing uh, logical philosophy, so analytical philosophy. They all tap into the same thinking apparatus as well. All right, so those are my reasons why you should not and should code. What do you think? Do you know how to code? What's your favorite language? And if you're considering learning to code, why? And um, how did you find this video? Tell me all of it in the comments.